Hello, hello everybody, this is Tiptop MTG here today with another MTG Arena video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to build a Riel the Everwise standard brawl deck. I think that brawl is really awesome, and a major part of that fun is choosing a commander and building around it. It's a singleton format, which means that you have to choose a lot more cards than you would normally, instead of just telling you what cards I put in my deck and then showing you some gameplay, in the spirit of Brawl, I'm going to start with my commander, tell you what works well with it, and then give you my list as an example. That way, if you don't have the cards to make my exact deck, or just don't like a specific card, you can build the deck however you want based on some simple recommendations. Before we can start telling you what works well with Riel, I have to talk about what it does. Riel is a 3 cost red and blue legendary creature human wizard. It says, Riel the Everwise gets plus 1 plus 0 for each instant and sorcery card in your graveyard. It also has the text, whenever you d discard one or more cards for the first time each turn, draw that many cards. Overall, this commander has a clear theme of playing lots of instants and sorceries and, more specifically, discarding cards at the same time. While this commander is pretty straightforward, there are a couple ways to build it. You could build a typical is it spell singing deck, a wizard tribal deck, or the way I plan on building it, a discard based deck with lots of instants and sorceries. So, what cards should you put into your deck? Well, there's lots of good cards for the deck, and so to make it easier to break down, I've put them into different categories. So starting off, we have cards that just let you discard in some way. So these are cards that generally have discarding as a downside. So generally you don't want, like, it may say discard a card, then draw a card. So we have something like Merchant of the Veil, which is an awesome adventure card, which both the adventure part of it and the creature let you discard. Chandra's Regulator is a way to repeatedly discard mountains in order to, uh, you know, draw cards. Teferi's Protege lets you repeatedly pay mana to discard cards and then draw cards. And what this is going to do, if you have a spell that says pay two mana, discard a card, draw two cards, right? Thrill of Possibilities. Well, you're going to discard the card, Riel is going to trigger and then draw you that card, and then you're going to draw two cards. So you just paid two card, you just paid two mana to discard a card and draw three, which may not seem like a lot, but when that's happening, obviously it only happens the first time each turn, but when that's happening every turn, uh, it starts adding up, and there are some effects that let you discard more. We have Kazmina, Enigmatic Mentor, which lets you create blockers, discard cards, and draw cards, and it makes it harder for your opponent to kill your stuff. We have Sanctum of Calm Waters, which... I, you know, I don't know if I'd actually include in the deck, I might, um, but, you know, it is nice, it is an extra, it's, it's a free discard, then draw, the only issue is that it will always happen, and you can't control that, so you will always end up discarding one card, which means that you will always only ever draw one card on your turn, so that one is a little bit of a nombo, but, uh, overall, it, it works well. We have Teferi, Mas Teferi Master of Time. So this will allow you to draw a card and discard a card repeatedly, whether you have mana or not, on both your turn and your opponent's turn. So his plus one becomes a discard a card, or draw a card, discard a card, then draw a card. Which is a pretty good plus one to be able to do on every person's turn. We have a Cavalier of Flame, which lets you discard any number of cards from your hand and then draw that many. So you'll essentially just discard your entire hand, unless you have a card you really like. So say you have a hand of five cards, you play this and then you discard five cards. Well, Riel's gonna say, hey, whoa, 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 you just discarded, I'm gonna make you draw five cards, and then the Cavalier's gonna go, hey, you discard five cards, draw five cards. So you'll basically discard five to draw ten, which is pretty awesome. We have Ox of Agonis, which will make you discard your whole hand, which is very similar. Now, you don't get to choose what cards you discard, but again, if for some reason you have 50 cards in your hand, you're going to discard it and then draw 50, which you die in that situation. But, you know, that is kind of the thing. We have a Kinetic Augur, which lets you discard some cards when it enters the battlefield, and it also cares about instants and sorceries. We have Dragon Mage, which is a kind of Wheel of Fortune, where, like, everyone disc discards their hand, then draws seven. But it's whenever it deals combat damage, so it's repeatable. So if you manage to get this out, every single turn, you are discarding seven and drawing 14, which means you're going to mill yourself fairly quickly. So that's probably why you want something like Thassa's Oracle or Jace in the deck to make sure that you don't die. Next, we have uh, Improbable Alliance. This one is not so much cards, you know, this one has an expensive ability that allows you to draw cards and discard cards repeatedly. We have the Royal Scions, which are similar to Teferi, but they only let you do it on your turn. We have the Lock Dragon, which is, uh, you know, it's, first off, a lot of blue and red devotion if you have any cards that care about it, but also just allows you to discard and draw cards. We have Spark Hunter Master Core, which is kind of interesting, uh, since, uh, 
commander since sorry planeswalkers can be your commander in brawl this actually might not be a bad card you know it does have the downside of when you cast it discard a card but in this deck it just becomes a you know added effect so yeah pretty good we have Chandra Heart of Fire, lets you discard a bunch of cards. Subira Toldidi Caravaner will make you discard your entire hand repeatedly. We have all any card with cycling will also count, and that can be done on your opponent's turn, so you'll cycle it, and then you'll draw a card from discarding, and then you'll draw a card from cycling. And similarly, Jumpstart, if you discard a card to Jumpstart, like the mechanic, not the set. Now, those are just some of the cards that discard. Now, there are some that are more specific. For instance, Instants and Sorceries that have a discard. Generally, these are just discard a card, draw a card. We have things like Cathartic Reunion, which discard two and then draw three. We have Thrill of Possibility, discard one, draw two. We have Honor the God Pharaoh, which allows you to discard to draw and amass. We have Thirst for Meaning, which lets you draw three, then either discard one or two, depending on if you discard an enchantment. We have Reign of Revelation, again, it's draw three, discard. Uh, we have Channeled Force, which lets you discard any number of cards. You could discard your whole hand, and you'll deal like that much damage to, you know, something. So it's good removal, it does some discardy stuff, so that's pretty cool. Then we have cards that care about when you draw. So we have things like Teferi's Tutelage, which will, when you draw, you are going to be milling your opponent. So now, when you are drawing 14 cards, they're milling 28. So that can quickly turn around from, oh, I'm going to mill myself, to, oh, I'm going to mill them. We have Improbable Alliance, which, you know, it doesn't really matter how many cards you draw, but you will basically always be creating an extra 1-1 one -one on your turn, and maybe your opponent's. Fairy Vandal lets you uh, add counters to it for drawing cards. Omnis C lets, lets you basically create a Kraken every 8 card you draw, which can happen very quickly with this deck. Iron Craig Pyromancer will uh, do, you know, deal 3 damage to any target basically every single turn, and maybe your opponent's turn. Niv Mizzet Perun will ping something for 1 every time you draw a card, and will draw you a card whenever you cast an instant or sorcery. And remember, Rael doesn't just care about discarding, she also cares a little bit about instants and sorceries. We have Teferi's Ageless Insight, which will double all your draws. And we have Nadir Kraken, which will allow you to put counters on it and create tokens for every time you draw it if you pay mana. So just really good cards for drawing. Now, we do have two cards that are kind of discard payoffs. Uh, those are Glinthorn uh, Buccaneer, which will basically ping, some, ping your opponents every time you discard a card. And then you have Bag of Holding, which will make it so when you discard a card, uh, it'll actually go into this bag and then you can put them eventually have them back in your hand. So that's pretty awesome. Now we have some instant and sorcery tribal. This is kind of just your generic instant and sorcery stuff, but we have things like Goblin Electromancer, which makes spells cheaper. We have Augur Volus, which allows you to get instants and sorceries. The Magic Mirror works well because, you know, you will have a lot of instants and sorceries in your graveyard. You can get it out for cheaper. That was in your storm. We'll let you maybe storm off a little bit, maybe discard your hand uh, multiple times. We have... Actually, I don't know if... There, yeah. I don't know if there's any instant and sorceries. I'm just saying. Yeah, I mean, channeled force. Uh, but again, remember, um, you only get the discard the first time, so that you wouldn't be gaining all the advantages every other time. We have uh, any card with prowess is gonna work well. Uh, Shark Typhoon, Spell Gorger, weird. Those both just whenever you cast non-creature spells, Shark Typhoon's really good. We have Sahili Sublime Artificer, whenever you cast a non-creature spell, create a 1-1. One, one. Sprite Dragon, whenever you cast a non-creature spell, put a counter on it. And God Eternal Kefnet is really awesome because at the beginning of your upkeep, uh, or after you draw your card, you, or just sorry, whenever you draw your first card each turn, so it can be on your opponent's turn, you can reveal that card, and if it's an instant or sorcery, you, get to, you can cast a copy of it for two cheaper. So let's say you had Thrill of Possibility, which costs one and a red, and you reveal it with God Eternal Kefnet, you can for one red cast that spell. Um, and it's not even that spell, it's a copy of it, so then you also have the spell in your hand. And generally, you just want any spell that says that whenever you cast a non-creature spell or instant and sorcery. Now for removal, we pretty much have generic spells. We really want to use a lot of instant and sorcery uh, removal. Like, I love Kazmina's Transmutation and Frogify, but instant and sorcery uses it just to benefit us more. So we have things like Shock, Lightning Strike, Scorching Dragonfire, Storm's Wrath, Flame Sweep. Channeled Force, which lets you discard. Uh, any basic red removal, something like Blitz of the Thunder Raptor works well because it cares about instant and sorceries. And Hippo um, Hippo Fizzle, the th Fizzle, um, will let you discard cards, draw cards, deal damage. Pretty awesome card. 
Now, in terms of draw spells, you know, anything that discards you cards is going to draw you stuff. So you don't really need any spells that just specifically draw. You're going to have anything that discards. But we have things like Chemistry's Insight. Uh, we have uh, Risk Factor, Expansion Explosion, and any discard spell is a draw spell with Rael. Then we have Ramp. We have just generic Ramp and things like RNK and Signet. I don't really think you need that much Ramp in this deck. Most of your stuff is going to be pretty cheap because a lot of it is cheaper because, hey, you're discarding cards. That's supposed to be a negative. Generally, you can build your deck however you want. However, these are just some cards that have a decent amount of synergy with the commander. Of course, add any cards you like. Add more removal. Add more counter spells. Add Thassa's Oracle because you're worried about milling yourself. Also, if I missed any awesome cards that uh, synergizes with Rael, let me know in the comments down below. Anyway, moving on to my deck list. It's not perfect, but I enjoy playing it, and that's really all that matters. Overall, I think Ryle's a pretty powerful commander, and I'm surprised I don't see it more. I mean, it's a very simple, you know, just discard cards, you gain value. And that, you know, it makes it easy to build, so I expected a lot of people to be building it, but not many people are, so I recommend everyone go out there and try it. Overall, just really fun. Uh, yeah, I would enjoy the deck. Again, deck list in the description. Let me know what you guys thought of this video. Uh, I've been doing the deck guides now for a little bit. Is there any other information you'd like to know? Like, ooh, you know, you should put in this many lands. Uh, here are some cards that don't work well. Is there anything else I should add? If you like the video, please hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.